Hi, this is Kerry Frank, Sales Manager with Helena Laboratories. Tipton has asked me to give you a quick tour of some of the features in our QuickScan Touch software, including the myeloma tracking software. First feature I want to show you is the ability the computer has of delineating the monoclonal protein itself. Uh, all the operator has to do, indicate where the monoclonal protein sits, reach right up to an icon, and based on an algorithm in the software, it determines where these fraction delineations or the M-spike delineations should be and displays that quantitation. Another feature I want you to notice is there's an IFE thumbnail. The software searches the database when this protein is scanned and it looks for either serum immunofixation, urine immunofixation, or a, a previous urine protein sample and has the ability to apply them as thumbnails. The nice part about this thumbnail is that I can click on it, enlarge it, and most importantly I can look at this data here. If the immunoglobulin values, N kappa, lambda, free kappa, free lambda, if those values are resident in the LIS, they can be downloaded as part of the data that the pathologist or whoever does the review, it gives them additional information. Another feature, very quickly, is the ability of either the pathologist or even the medical technologist of placing a flag on samples for given situations. We allow 10 customizable flags, and they're like little colored um, tabs that you put on your manila folders. Let's take this one. In fact, it says, this patient has therapy tomorrow. The technologist puts this on the uh, patient's report so that when the pathologist does the review, they see this flag and they know it means that, that this patient has therapy tomorrow and the oncologist needs the report. As soon as the technologist is finished with the data, they're going to send it to review. Typically, they put these samples in a manila folder and they go on the pathologist's desk. In this situation, what we're doing is we're sending these samples out to our database. It's looking to see if a folder already exists for this, these patients. If so, it adds the new data to the historic data that's resident. Uh, if there is not a folder, the software assumes it's a new patient and will create one. At some point during the day, um, in their office, at a laboratory workstation, or even at home, whoever's reviewing the software, a pathologist or whoever, goes up to the icon right here and says, I wonder how much work I have to do today. And right there we see the number of patients that have new data to be reviewed. We're going to pick this one right here because it's the one we're going to track, open it up. Immediately you see that there are a number of patterns on the screen. In the left-hand column we have thumbnails, which represent all of the historic samples, all the pro historic protein samples that have been done on this patient. And the one in blue is the current sample. One in red, the oldest, they're in order chronologically, is assigned as the baseline sample with the reviewer ID and each historic sample likewise. So here the, the pathologist or whoever is doing a reviewing can look at all the patient's data. I've already indicated we can look at the IFE, but how about we compare IFEs. So with just a simple click of the mouse, now the pathologist is viewing all of this data, immunoglobulin data included, for the IFEs. If there were urine proteins done on, on these samples, we could also compare urine protein to a urine protein with all the values associated with that urine protein. And we can then slide right back to our monoclonal protein. Um, once the pathologist has, is finished with the review for this patient, they simply send it up to the accept folder. It gets time stamped and uh, signature stamped at that point and is basically locked. A couple of features that I want to point out that we're going to add in the very near future. One of them, probably very important, since we have this monoclonal information, as you see, we're going to plot a line graph of that monoclonal protein. So you'll, the pathologist can quickly look to see if that line graph is, is decreasing or if it's increasing as a quick uh, view of how the patient is responding to therapy. We're going to do the same with a kappa-lambda ratio. One other item we're going to add is a post-it note, if you will. It's an inner lab note. It's probably going to go in a text box right here. 
and it's simply communication notes that the pathologist may leave for the medical technologist or the technologist may leave for the pathologist, just something that's going on with this patient that they might want the pathologist to know. Uh, and one other feature we're going to add, since we have these review folders and uh, re-edit folders, we're going to put an indicator on the folder as to one, is there data to be reviewed? And two, how much data is to be reviewed? In other words, it would give the pathologist an idea of how many, how many patients are under review today. Another option which will be available, uh, pathologist or anybody reviewing, if you have multiple pathologists reviewing, the pathologist could select that they want to only want to review patients that they have been reviewing and uh, reporting on. Or the pathologist can opt to look at all of them.